Thank you once again for joining me. I'll be showing you how to export your regression output from eViews to Excel. The good news is that there is no command required. Simply copy and paste the output. But there is a caution here. Don't just splash that output onto your document. Do some formatting to make them presentable. It does not matter what estimator you used. You can still copy and paste that table to your Word or Excel document. But for simplicity, I will only show you how to export to Excel because that is the approach I use all the time. I export to Excel, do the formatting in Excel, and from Excel, I copy and paste onto my Word documents. Also for simplicity, I will only take you through three different estimators, OLS, VAR, and ARDL, just to show you how you can format your output to make it look more presentable than from what you exported from eViews. So here in eViews, I'll be using just three variables, the log of real GDP, the log of EDS, and the log of Govex. But let me stop here by saying that uh, in case I'm too fast, you can pause the video and play back what I just did so that you can do the same. So let us start off with the OLS estimation. Now we have our output. All we have to do is just to simply copy onto Excel worksheets. Control C, copy. The copy options dialog box opens up. I click OK. Now I'm in Excel interface. In cell A1, I click it and I simply do Control V or paste. Output is pasted, but you will agree with me that this does not look anywhere close to being presentable. So we need to do some formatting on this. And in my usual practice, I always do a before and after. So I'm going to copy all these things and paste them on a different um, cells so that I can compare with what I did after formatting. I'm pasting right below it, Control V. So let's start to do some little formatting. The first thing I'm going to do is to change my font from Calibri to Times New Roman. Most times I prefer to work with Times New Roman. So I light the entire worksheet, I come here, and I change it to Times New Roman. So next year, there are some information I don't need. I don't need the dates. I don't need the sample. I will have indicated the sample in my manuscripts or in the body of my work. Right-click and delete. The included observations, I need this information, so I'm going to take it away from where it is and place it elsewhere. There are some empty cells I need to close up. So I'm deleting them. The dependent variable here, I can bold in it. Then use the merge and center here. I click that. Then I use the align left here to align it. Thereafter, I expand the columns. For the method list squares, I also bold in that. And I use the merge and center. Then I align to the left. Variable, I change that to variables. All these ones I highlighted, I use the center. Then here, I align to the left. For the dependent variable that I bolded up here, I can use a thick bottom border. For the method of least squares, I use a light bottom border. For the variables heading and the coefficient standard errors, I bold in that and I use a light bottom border, this. I also include a bottom border to separate the coefficients from the model's characteristics. I've done that. And also below the pro value statistics, I use a bottom border to separate that from the notes I'm going to write. So here I can change from included observations to simply observations. And in the next cell, I write 34. Because you need to show your reader how many observations you have used. Align all these at the center. Then I observe that the probability value for the log of GovX is just showing a single zero. While the rest are in four decimal places. So I need to work on that. I come here and I increase the zeros. I do the same thing for the prop value statistic. I increase the zeros just to align it with the other results. So everything looks good now. Lastly, I just simply write source. It's the font size for the source, I can use 10. 
So now see what we've done. Compare with what we brought from Evius. There's a big disparity. So even though the contents are the same, presentation matters. So please don't splash that output like that. Spend just a little time to make your table presentable. Next, we move on to VAR estimation. We have our VAR estimates as usual. Let's highlight everything and do Control C. Copy option dialog box is up again. Click OK. Cell A1 is indicated. Simply do Control V or paste. Because we need to do a before and after comparison, I'm going to copy all this and paste below it. Just like we did for the OLS estimates, there are some information that we don't need here. The date will be taken out. Sample adjusted will be taken out. Right click and delete. The information here is necessary. We need to know how many observations. So let me highlight this and put it in somewhere. The information on determinant receipt covariance up to number of coefficients are not relevant. So I'm highlighting and I'm deleting. So next thing I have to do is to highlight the entire worksheet and change Calibri to Times New Roman. That's my preferred font. I'm highlighting column B, C, D to align the figures to be at the center. Expanding column A. There are so many empty cells I need to close up. For the var regression estimates, because it's at the heading, I will bolden it, Control B, then I use the margin center here, then I click align left. I can also expand column B here. Up here in cell A2, I type in variables, I bold in all these two, the headings. Here I have just the C, I'm changing that to constant. Back to the top here, I need to put a thick border below that, thick border. And here, below the variables, I use a thin bottom border. I need to separate the coefficients from the model's characteristics. I use a below border too. I need to indicate observations here, 33. So below that, I draw a border line. To separate that from the notes I'm going to type in. And I put a note showing that the numbers in parentheses are standard errors. Before we wrap this up, I need to show you that um, the figures below the coefficients are standard errors in parentheses, but because we moved from eViews to Excel, it has converted them all to negative signs, so which is not good enough. So we need to convert back to parentheses. So I'm going to show you how to do that for just the log of real GDP. You can do that for the rest. The first thing you have to do is to highlight the cell, put an apostrophe sign, open bracket, then close bracket. If you don't put the apostrophe sign, it won't work. So you can see all the parentheses have been neatly returned back. Lastly, I indicate author as a source. I can also reduce the font size for the notes and source. So we can see that this is a lot better than what I exported from eViews. Let's compare. This is the finished work, the formatted table, and this is the unformatted table as brought in from eViews. Again, I'll say it, the contents are the same, but presentation matters. Spend a little time, format your table before you put into your work. From here now, just simply copy and use Space Special to place onto MS Word. Is a lot neater and much better. Lastly, I use an ARDL result to show you how to format the table. So here we can see the output for the ARDL estimation. Highlight, Ctrl C. The copy option dialog box is there. Click OK. Cell A1, Ctrl V in the Excel worksheet. As usual, Let's copy this and paste elsewhere to compare after we have done with formatting. So let's begin to take out those information that we don't need. Dates, sample adjusted, maximum dependent lags. We can always say that in the body of the work. Model selection method, we can put that on the notes. So all these highlighted will be deleted. The selected model is a very important information, so I'm going to copy that away from there. 
it will form part of the notes to the table. Here, note P values and any subsequent tests, blah, 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 highlight and delete. Included observations, I need that information. So I've already tapped it in here now, I can delete it here. So again, I'm highlighting the entire worksheet, changing Calibri to Times New Roman. So many empty cells I need to close up. I'm changing C here to constant. Variable here, I just put an S, variables. Dependent variable log of real GDP, I need to bold in that and use the margin and center. Margin and center, align to the left. Method ARDL, I need to bold in that. Margin and center, align to the left. Then I need to use some bottom borders. For this one, I use a thick bottom border. For the method ARDL, I use a light bottom border, this one. For the headings here, I bold in and I use a light bottom border. I also separate the coefficients from the model characteristics with a border. For the prof value F statistics, I use a bottom border to separate that from the notes I'm going to write. I also observe that the p-value for the log of real GDP, that is the lag of the log of real GDP, is just indicating zero, when the rest are in three, four decimal places, so I need to align that with the other results. So I come here and I increase the zeros. I do the same thing for the p-value of statistics, I come here, increase the zeros. All this one I highlight and I put them at the center. Same thing for these results here, center. Same thing here, center. So here, I just put a note to indicate the model and where I obtain the lags from. Next, I put the source. I reduce the font size for the note and the source, 10. So let's wait before and after. You'll agree with me that after formatting the table, it looks more presentable than what we got from AViews. This is what we got from AViews. It won't be ideal for you to just put this one in your manuscript or your thesis. Presentation is important. So do it this way. And from here, just simply do Ctrl C and go and paste onto your Word document. I hope this tutorial was helpful in some way. Give me some thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Tell your friends and colleagues about this YouTube channel. You have a lot to learn in a very simplified manner. Thank you for your time. Please don't go away. I'll be right back.